Hi, this is Michael Carvajal, and you're watching True School Sports. Take care. Good job. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, in this video right here, it's going to be a little bit of me assessing um, a fighter's performance, and then, you know, just uh, aside from that, seeing, just giving you guys my opinion on where I think he matches up with the top fighter in the weight class. So what I'm talking about in this video is Yuri Okus Gambo, he made his return to the ring on the David Lemieux, Curtis Stevens undercard. He fought uh, Rene Alvarado, a guy from Nicaragua, who was 24-7 uh, and seven coming into the fight. Um, had only been knocked out one time, but really was was a, 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 an opponent that was made for Gamboa to look spectacular. And that's not what happened, you know. That is not what happened with uh, Rene Alvarado. We got a fight between both of those guys that was really, you know, for lack of a better word, boring. It, was, it wasn't it was very entertaining. You had uh, Alvarado, who had the opportunity of a lifetime to beat a big name in Gamboa and maybe, you know, ascend among the uh, lightweight rankings. That didn't happen for him. Gamboa uh, had a guy in front of him who he clearly had more speed than. He came in weighing around, what, 152 or 153 on fight night. And he just really, you know, he was content uh, with, with jabbing and, and kind of just, you know, scoring an easy points decision. And he could have definitely made a statement, um, but he didn't. And, a lot, and you could attribute a lot of that to maybe ring rust because... It is true. Gamboa's timing was off. He wasn't the same sharp Gamboa as far as you know his timing in the ring, and and, and that goes for most fighters. If, you, if you're off, if you're out of the ring for damn near what 15 months, 15, 16 months, you're not going to have the same uh, timing level, the, the same level of timing you had when you were, you know, fighting once every four or five months. You're not going to. And even when he did have the right, the right timing, he wasn't turning a lot of his punches. He, were, he wasn't even turning over properly. So a lot of the time with him, it, in any fighter, they're going to have to ha go through those rounds to work out the kinks and, and get back to that sensational form. My question to Gamboa is, you're 35 years old. I looked at him in the ring. Aside from his timing being off, you know, he hasn't lost any of his speed. He hasn't lost a ton of his reflexes. Everything that made Gamboa, Gamboa is still there. But... You know, time is ticking. Father time is catching up. And we got to start asking ourselves the questions. Can Gamboa be a world champion at lightweight? Can he, can he, can he, can he, could he challenge Vasily Lomachenko? Because skill-wise, you know, Gamboa can compete with anybody at lightweight. Regardless of, you know, the ring rust, you know, if he's able to get back active again and just, you know, get his rounds in, Gamboa can compete with anybody. But... Realistically, could he compete with Lomachenko? And I honestly think the answer is no. He could not compete with Lomachenko because Lomachenko is, what, 27? Getting, going into his prime, he got Gamboa on the wrong side of 30. It just, it's, it, 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 it spells disaster. And you're looking at maybe two or three more fights for Gamboa before, he, before we even know what he is at this point because he fought a guy that didn't have much to offer. And even that guy, Alvarado, did knock down Gamboa. Gamboa's never had a, a, a granted chin, but Alvarado did have some success with Gamboa when he let his hands go. He just didn't let his hands go enough. So we're going to have to see Gamboa step up his opposition enough. I would like to see him the next fight, uh, the guy who just won a title, uh, Miguel <coughs> Miguel Burchell. That'd be, a good, that'd be a good fight for him. Maybe it'd be too much for him at this point. But if not Miguel Burchell, then I think Roman Martinez would be a good uh, type of opponent for him. Someone he can look good against, and, and, and we'll see if he can't. If he can't beat Roman Martinez, then he doesn't. He doesn't deserve to fight Miguel Perchel or Lomachenko or none of those guys or Tank Davis. You know, the thing with Gamboa is the reason I even asked the question: Could he compete, compete with Lomachenko? Is because one thing he has going for him that a Miguel Perchel doesn't have going for him that a Salido or Jezreel Corrales does not have going for them, or even a Tank Davis to some extent. He has that amateur pedigree, that and that deep, deep amateur pedigree. And I know you guys say, well, amateurs and pros is different. And they're right, it is different, but that stuff does matter. Like, that stuff really does matter. And Gamboa being a gold medalist, being someone that has a lot of ring smarts, um, has been in there with, um, you know, some good names, beat Darlius Perez, um, Orlando Salido, you know, Ponce de Leon. These are all guys that are good names and guys that can fight, and he beat them. So with that being said, you know, Gamboa, 
do I think he, he could beat Lomachenko? Absolutely not. No, I don't think anybody really could beat Lomachenko at 130, except maybe, you know, in a couple years, maybe Javante Davis. I think Javante Davis could give Tank, uh, Lomachenko some problems maybe two years down the road if Mayweather continues to move him correctly, if he gets the right amount of experience. But outside of that, ain't nobody seeing Lomachenko right now. And the only guy I can even see him giving him a remote problem in the next year and a half, ironically, if Father Time doesn't hit him by then, is Gamboa. Because Gamboa has... And I'm not saying he could beat Lomachenko, so I want to make that very clear because I get a lot, of, a lot of people who twist my words up in these comments. I'm not saying he could beat Lomachenko, but his amateur experience, his speed, his reflexes, these things make the Lomachenko fight very interesting to me if he's able to get those rounds in um, and Father Time doesn't hit him by then. So there's a lot of factors that go into that, but he did not look sensational against Rene um, Alvarado. And I, I, I was left very disappointed because you had one guy in Alvarado who, you know, he was picked because people thought he would open up and, and that would give Gamboa a sensation of performance. But then that didn't happen and you have Gamboa who was content to just move, move, jab, move, jab. You know, kind of like a lot of the Cubans do. They, they don't necessarily have to go for the knockouts because they can just outbox people. And that's what it was. So it was a very unencouraging performance from a, from a, from a guy with a, lot, with a ton of talent. And is Gamboa ever going to be the cream of the crop at 130, you know, that remains to be seen. I think, you know, we're going to have to wait and see for that. But like I said, man, I think for him, his image pedigree makes a fight with anybody uh, interesting to me because his experience in the ring will always give him a chance to win. So um, overall, you know, I saw I, a lot, I, some of the things that I saw as far as his physical attributes, you know, like his, uh, his speed, his reflexes. Um, his strength in many ways, you know, that stuff hasn't gone away. What really, what to me, was I, I saw a whole lot of ring rust and a guy that maybe, you know, he, that is a lot older. So we're going to have to wait and see with Gamboa. But at this moment in time, I think he's, he's, a, he's a very, 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 very long way away from competing with Lomachenko at this point. He has a lot of work to do. And um, by the time he gets the rounds that he needs in, who's to say that Father Time doesn't hit him? So... We'll keep around in Gamboa. I would like, personally, I would like to see him fight Roman Martinez next. I think that'd be a good fight for him. A good, solid, top 10 guy that, you know, he can beat. And um, that's what it is, man. So you guys let me know what you think. What do you think about Gamboa's performance against Rene Alvarado? And do you guys think that he he could compete with the top five guys at uh, 130, 130 pounds? You know, guys like Lomachenko, Salido, Jezreel Corrales, Burchell, Takashi Miura. Can he beat the, those kinds of guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dean. So until next time, take care, guys.